you've hurt some people along the way, and until you and I are willing to repent of that and acknowledge that before God and let God clean out our lives from those things, we're never going to be whole. So you have to be right with God before you can experience God's healing grace in you. It starts with getting right with God. That's what repentance is. See, repentance is not a bad thing. Repentance is saying, I'm sorry, God, for what I did wrong. I'm sorry for the stuff inside of me. You say, well, I've never killed anybody. Well, yeah, but you thought about it. Well, pastor, when they hit me, I didn't hit them back. Yeah, but you wanted to. Okay. See, the Bible says man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks down on the heart. He looks at what's going on on the inside of us. And certainly there may be things that you've never actually done that might violate what you feel to be moral laws of God. But yet on the inside, God sees what's really in our heart. And so repentance is going to God saying, God, I'm asking you to clean this stuff out of my life. I want to be clean on the inside. That's what repentance is, coming to God, asking him to cleanse you on the inside. Repentance is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Would you prefer to live in a clean house or a dirty house? Not very complicated, is it? You'd prefer to live in a clean house, wouldn't you? And that's all repentance is. Repentance is getting clean. That's all it is. God, I ask you to clean me up on the inside. Now, cleanness of your house doesn't happen by you walking through the door and say, Be clean! It's some work. You have to do something as a part of the process. And the same is true with us when we get clean on the inside. We have to confess. We have to own up to stuff. And then God does the cleansing process 